I think it's wicked, in a way, to be a victim. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, and Robert Moses was absolutely powerful. He wanted to wipe the slate clean, start all over again. I say that you have a cancerous growth there that has to be carved out. I first began looking at city planning and housing. It was unbelievably awful. Insane. We didn't understand how high the price was until Jane Jacobs came along. Citizen Jane, the Battle for the City, is a fascinating documentary, not only for the story it tells, but because of the way it illustrates how quickly what can sound like heresy becomes orthodoxy and vice versa. Citizen Jane is Jane Jacobs, journalist, activist, believer in cities as yeasty places, alive places, places where street life mattered, places where people mattered. On the other side of the coin was Robert Moses, New York's most powerful city planner who believed in urban renewal. He believed that to make a city come alive again, you had to destroy big chunks of it, rebuild huge buildings, and that would bring life to the city. These two forces faced off three times during the 1950s and 1960s. Jane Jacobs won all three battles. She changed the face of the way we look at cities today. These issues are still alive, and these battles are still going on all over the world. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.